Hey mom. What? Why do birds fly south in the winter? I don't know, Jack. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. Good joke, Jack. Thanks. Today we're going to make a paper plate bird. Get ready. <coughs> oh, bless you. Okay, friends, to start our paper plate bird, you need your paper plate, which is folded in half, and your paint, and a paintbrush. We'll do the rest later, but first we have to paint so that it can dry. So Jack is going to get stat started and he's going to paint both sides of his plate. He has a piece of paper on our table just to ca catch any drips. You can use a piece of paper or cardboard or a plate or a pan, whatever your grown-up says is okay, so that you don't make a mess on your table. You could do like markers and stuff like that. No, I'm talking about so they don't make a mess on the table. They can't use markers to not make a mess on the table. Oh. We don't paint the inside of the plate, but we paint both sides. Mm -hmm. So Jack has one side. And then it might be tricky, but you can flip it over and maybe stand it up to paint the second side. So maybe, yep, you can hold it. That's fine. Yep. Hard work. Is it hard work? Yeah. I think this is going to look very sweet. You know what I like? What? A bird fan. Hmm. That's feathers on it. Are you almost through painting your plate? Yeah. So he's getting all the paint covered. Looks like Jack is making a bluebird. I'd also like a bird with a pink breast. A robin, do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Ah, are, you so are you done with your Yep, so when you're done, the best thing to do is going to be not to stand it up like a taco, but to stand it up like this to dry. So friends, you do that, and then we will finish it after it's dry. Okay friends, now that Jack's bird body is dried, he is going to put on the features of his bird. So you need two googly eyes, your feathers, glue, scissors, and your orange piece of paper. That is for your bird's beak. So Jack, first begin by gluing on your two googly eyes, please. He's going to glue one on each side of the crack in the plate because this is where your bird's head is. So we're going to make one on each side. Way to go, Jack. Gonna flat A, you're gonna put one eye and the other. And Jack, now could you give your bird two feathery wings on each side of the crack? Mm -hmm. So you should glue two feathery wings on. There you go. Jack is squeezing hard because <laughs> he is working his hand muscles. So that one's going to get glued on. Ooh, this one's really fluffy. And here comes a fluffy one. He's going to put some glue on the other side of the crack or the line on his plate. I think I know how it floats. Nice squeezing. Nice using your hand muscles. There you go. And then the rest of the feathers get to be the tail feathers. So you go to the side opposite from the eye. So you go way down to the other side of the plate. And you can make a little glue puddle and put them on. Are the feathers sticking to your hands? Yeah. And you can use more than one feather for the tail if you would like. I'm going to help you by pushing my finger on to keep it flat. But just put tail feathers on both sides, okay? Both sides of your line. Okay, so 
Let's see how many feathers Jack's going to put on. Thank you, Jack. Now put some on before it dries, honey. Well, this Let's glue doesn't dry that quickly. Let's count them out. We have one, two, three, four, kind of stuck to you. Any more or just four? Just four. Just four. Then Jack is going to take his orange paper and he's going to cut out a beak shape. And that might be a triangle or it might be a square. You get to decide what the beak shape is for your bird. I don't think any birds have square noses. Well, Miss Vandy Boom was just letting her kids have some options. We're going to glue the beak on the other side of the plate. So we're going to flip it over and up here, yeah, up here, you can glue it on. But you need some glue, sweetheart. Oh, oops, I grabbed the scissors. Yes. So we're gluing the beak on the inside. Oh, a little closer down, otherwise you won't see the beak. Okay, that's good. It's just a little piece of paper. <sighs> just need a little spot of glue. See, now you're not going to be able to see it. You want to slide it down so that you can see it when you unfold or when you fold up the bird. There you go, Jack. Now, friends, I will help Jack fold it in one moment and we will show you what it looks like. Friends, here is Jack's little bird. And look, you can rock your little bird. You shouldn't throw your bird because your bird can't really fly, but there it is. And Jack, I have a joke for you. What? What do you give to a sick bird? I don't know. A tweet mitt. <laughs> Thanks for crafting, friends. Thanks for crafting.